into the sky Never let adventures pass you by Be free and follow your crazy dreams We're living our vision in the RV Come ride with us and you'll be free We had a wonderful time in Yellowstone National Park, but it's time for us to move on. We did it! We did it! We did the whole Yellowstone. We did the whole loops, upper and lower, wow. all week, Sunday to Saturday. Well, wow. sun, both Sunday and this today were like half days. But. Yeah, most of the time it was just the evenings. We were talking about this earlier, and we figured it probably, to do the northern and southern loop, you probably want to give yourself about three days. Three, three full, full days. Yeah. yeah, and that's just doing the loops and making, you know, some of the major stops. Yeah. Cause some of the stops you have to, you can't see anything unless you get out and, yeah, you gotta and walk away. So go trek. You might be able to do it in two if you're really hustling, but give yourself three days at least. Yeah. Four would be nice, I'd say. And if, and if the park's busier, you know, yeah, that would take even longer. Some of the roads were closed. To get out of the park. Yeah, but there were some side roads that were close oh, yeah, to go few. explore. Mm -hmm. But all the main attractions, yeah. I think all the main attractions yeah. were open, weren't they? Oh yeah. So yeah. now we're in West Yellowstone. We're gonna eat something here real quick, and then we're gonna head on up to Glacier. Woohoo! New driver. Been a while since you drove. I know. We say a while, but it's probably what two weeks. <laughs> uh, no, really, just a week, because I drove some on the way to Teton. I thought, did I? <laughs> Maybe not. Well, sometime. Sometime know, in maybe. Wyoming, I did. Time flies. <laughs> it does. All right. On the road again. Back on the road. Continue on to North Canyon Street. Don't look before you leave. What you give, you get to keep. So long, farewell, bye-bye. Let's have a toast for those lost old eyes. Make a stop to meet a couple of longtime viewers, Betty and Ray. Well, that sure was a good time. We had just a wonderful time. Could have spent some more hours visiting. Yeah, it's, it's time to hit the road again. We're going to try to make it up to, I'm hoping we can get up to at least Great Falls, oh, okay. uh, Montana. And then uh, from there, we'll drive into Glacier in the morning. Ready for another ride? <laughs> just pulling in to get some fuel and Michelle pulled up gas buddy and found it cheaper 542 a gallon here and it was 587 just on the other yeah. side of the interstate right here crazy I told Michelle gosh I can't believe we got it that cheap and then I was like I can't believe I'm saying cheap we won't get into that fuel prices aren't the only thing that changes as we travel the country the ever-changing picturesque landscapes is sometimes just as exciting for us as the destinations we are traveling to our plan for the evening is to make it to the Walmart in Great Falls, Montana for groceries and a good night's rest. That will put us less than three hours away from Many Glacier entrance of Glacier National Park in the morning. Spend the night here, Great Falls at the Walmart. I don't think I can get in this door. Go in and get some water, a few groceries, and then we'll be on our way tomorrow morning to Glacier. Good morning. something on the countertop to keep from scratching the countertop 
I'm gonna get two uses out of this. drive this morning? Or do you feel like driving? I got to Today is Sunday. And I gotta start on next week's video tomorrow. And I don't even have this last one done yet. I'll just go ahead and drive to the fuel station and then you can drive from oh, there. Okay. Hey, there's a piece of popcorn down there. I don't know how that got there. <laughs> Good lord, that's still a lot of money. I like how it has this door that closes. You don't can't get to it until you open the door. So when you when you close this and then close the door, it automatically locks it. We have just a little over a half tank of fuel. Anytime we see it cheap, we go ahead and top it off anyway. But we're probably gonna top it off again before we go to the national park because we got a two or three hours of driving yet to do before we get into it. We didn't make any reservations. We know of a bunch of places that we can camp, um, dispersed camping, and outside then, the park. yeah, outside the park, any of the national parks, you're able to use their dump stations and get fresh water for free. So as long as you have a place to stay, which there's always a place to stay, there's always dry camping places. Um, and as long as you can get water and dump your tanks, you're good. You don't really need to make reservations. As long as you have the ability to camp, you know, without, uh, you know, if you have a generator, or, yeah. You know, it's early and I haven't had enough coffee. You ready to go? 9.6 gallons and it's still 52 bucks. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Which option you want this? The fastest. Oh, that's, that's taken. That is. Isn't that what it's saying? Fastest oh yes, uh-huh, so just hit go. Starting route. Okay. We're starting our route. What was that? Me. Did you hit something? No, I just didn't know that wheels were turned the opposite way. Oh.
sure we put it in reverse when we leave here. <laughs> Perks of uh, having our own bathroom. There's a line. <laughs> Willow Story. Nice little bear. He's just barely taller than you. <laughs> barely. <laughs> Mini Vinny's definitely gonna need a bath now. Mini Vinny is such a dirty little boy. Good. Hey, do you guys by any chance have campground reservations, hotel reservations here in Mini Glacier? By no any reservations, no. So unfortunately, we're under traffic restrictions right now. It's just because our parking lots have filled up, so we've got to wait a couple hours till people leave to start letting other vehicles back in oh. again. Um, my suggestion to people is go do something fun. Chief Mountain's a great option if you haven't seen that already. Unless you have reservations here in Mini Glacier, they're at capacity, I guess, right now. So you have to wait like a couple hours before we can go in there and see that. Well, you can't go all the way through there. It looks like the road ends anyway, and you'll have to turn around and come back. I say we just skip that and go through the main iconic View area. The St. Mary's one that go she's talking Mary's about. Go to St. Mary's and then uh, we'll go that route. Yeah. Fuel up again, make sure we got enough fuel. And then we can't go completely through unless we have reservations there also. We'll see, this could be interesting. Otherwise, we gotta drive all the way down and around Glacier to come in to the other side and go back out. Not like Yellowstone, that's for sure. Nope. Even under flood. Yellowstone's like, come in, come in, come on, come open. on. We just stopped here in the little town called St. Mary's, and this is exactly why we top off every time we mm. see cheaper fuel, especially before you get to a national park. We had it at what, 544 before mm -hmm. the last fill up? Great fall. If we would have waited and ran this down further, we would have been paying even more now to fill it from, you know, close to empty all the way up at 689. Ouch. How much was it? Almost $7. Well, we we didn't have, we had about a half, half. tank and it's <laughs> $74. But still, it's better than filling up from uh, closer to empty yeah. and then $150. We came in in this Manny Glacier. We were coming through this highway here, 464, and came in, went by this beautiful lake with the beautiful backdrop of the mountains. They said at the gate that they were full. Well, you can't go all the way through the park on that road anyway, so we just turned around and came back. Now this area here, has most of the iconic views on it supposedly see what we can come all the way back all the way down and then see how far up we can get here before we turn around and go back out our next plan is to stop at the saint mary visitor center at the east entrance and take the free shuttle decided to take the free shuttle that the National Park has, and we'll tell you why here in a little bit.
found a downfall to a 24 foot van and that is Glacier National Park. And the reason why is they limit 21 foot when you get to this point right here because it's such a very, very narrow turn that they limit it to 21 foot long right there. And then there's a 10 foot high bridge, which we can make it under. So we didn't have to worry about the 10 foot high, but we had to worry about that turn there. We can't go any further past that. After 4 p.m., you can drive all the way through, um, but you gotta make sure you're under that 21 foot and your height is under 10 foot. If you do not have reservations to drive through Glacier National Park, don't worry, you have other options. There are free shuttles that the National Park provides that stop at multiple locations. You can wait until after 4 p.m. and drive through without a reservation, or there are other options like the red bus tours that you can purchase tickets for. The disadvantage of the shuttles is there are many lookouts that you don't get the opportunity to pull over and view like you would if you take your own vehicle. Oh my gosh, look, there's snow. I can dip my face in it right now, I'm so hot. <laughs> you are hot. So right now we're at Logan Pass Visitor Center. Isn't it gorgeous? It is. Oh, there's a bunch of people. Up up th way up in oh, there. Colombian ground squirrel. <laughs> Brian's like, what is that? I'm like, it's a squirrel. And he's like, no, it isn't. It went underground. It's a squirrel. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's a Colombian ground squirrel. <laughs> Aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so are you saying that's a squirrel right there? No. Oh. That's a marmot. You sure? Before hopping back on the shuttle bus, we fill our water bottle at the free water station and head back to the St. Mary Visitor Center. Yeah, and I think around four and five, that's looking to go west. I want to take you out, show you the time of your life. I want to figure out what it takes to give you everything you desire. You gotta take the big loop around, go to the west side, close to a two hour drive. We gotta go all the way around. It, uh, since speed limit's higher, it's um, about the same distance as far as time, but a lot farther in, in miles. What is this person doing? Thank you. Thank you. We got service right oh, here? Yeah, let's put it, that's what all I was right, let's doing. put the GPS in now. Basically, just follow the road around. Hungry, hungry horse? <laughs> yes, I am a hungry horse. What? No, let's go to the entrance. Oh, Over okay. here. A Apgar? Or... I think that is the name of it, Apgar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. I see it. I oh, mean, it says an hour and 49 minutes. As far as time, it's quicker this way. It's right there. We got to go to that bottom loop. Starting route to Apgar Visitor Center. T-shirts, groceries, burgers, ice mm. cream. Did they say burgers? <laughs> they say ice cream? Did they say t-shirts? Oh goodness. No. Nope. Oh, my husband won't let me get any more t-shirts. Oh, whatever. <laughs> That's I why I just keep miles. getting more hats. I keep telling her. <laughs> I, in fact, I encourage her to get t-shirts. And then my clothes in that closet keeps getting smushed and smushed and they get wrinkled. 
and she's got all these clothes in there that she never wears. It's like I do too. I always wear. take some of them out and pull them up because we have uh, clothes in a tub up above in the back, and we do have an iron and an ironing board. Wrinkles. <laughs> and so if we ever need to use any of those, we can just pull them out and iron them. But no. I was literally just <laughs> thinking about how the ranger told us how you'd be really lucky to see any bears. So I started singing a song, Bear Necessities, and we come around the corner and there runs a bear right in front of us. Like a, a black bear, but I mean, I was just like, yeah. oh my God. That was, a, that was a grizzly. That was black. Baby, driving me crazy. Apparently, when Michelle gets hungry, it affects her eyesight. So next, we stop for lunch in the quaint little town of East Glacier Park. Huckleberry pie, barbecue chicken and ribs. Huckleberry pie. Let's ring the doorbell. <laughs> oh, did you get the huckleberry dressing? Mm-hmm. So you got quarter ribs, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you got a quarter ribs. Thank you. Ooh. There's your huckleberry. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking we probably should have ate in St. Mary's. Worst meal <laughs> I've had in quite a while. The fries was the best thing I had. <laughs> My baked potato, baked mm. potato, baked potato was not very good even. Baked potato. <laughs> baked potato. Uh, <laughs> my baked potato, <laughs> And. I got their, uh, I guess one of the things they're known for was their huckleberry pie, right? Didn't it say that they were known for that? That was huckleberry jello. Their, their pie filling the, was jello. It was like a gelatin type pie yeah, with huckleberry. If that's the just, way you normally make it, I don't know. And it would had just like a graham cracker crust. I think it was a graham cracker. That was graham cracker? I'm not sure. Uh, it wasn't like a pastry. At the next stop sign, um, turn right on the bottom i know that all right well served with huckleberry ice cream which cute little town as we continue our journey to west glacier we realize that it's getting a little too late to explore more of glacier national park and we needed to start thinking about where we're going to spend the night before doing that though we decided to make a quick stop at huckleberry patch in hungry horse montana Here's a good excuse. There are several campgrounds and dispersed camping places around the area, but since we were already in Hungry Horse, we figured we would try a spot at the Hungry Horse Reservoir. Right before you get into the town of Hungry Horse, uh, heading west, there'll be a turn to the left, and there's a sign that says Hungry Horse Dam. And, uh, sorry, mosquitoes are bad. And you take a left there, and you keep on going. You go across the dam, five miles, maybe four or five miles. It's really pretty views. We, it was uh, getting dark. 
And so we'll have to show you uh, going out of here because we're going to go back into town and, and work today. There's only two other campers here. One looks like they've been camping here for a long time. Another one just got here. I'm hooking up the satellite, uh, Starlink satellite, real quick because uh, we'd have no cell service on any of the carriers up here. And um, I want to give you guys some GPS coordinates so you know where this is at, if it'll work for you. Get this hooked up, get a GPS coordinates, get that loaded back up, and we're going to head in town. GPS coordinates, it is 48.317022, and uh, longitude is negative 113.981896. Nice view over there. How did they ever come up with the name Hungry Horse? Some explorer or cowboy. Oh, horse is hungry. Oh, <laughs> well, I stopped here. Because my, my horse, horse was, was hungry. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, it's called a Hungry Horse is what this <laughs> place is called. Seemed appropriate and all. Some lone cowboy sitting there by a campfire, just him and his horse. Kept thinking of names. Crazy squirrel. <laughs> the horses. <is clears throat> Slimy snake. <clears throat> <laughs> that sounded like Scooby-Doo. It was, it was Scooby, wasn't it? <laughs> we decided to just park across from the visitor center at the West Glacier Cafe. Brian was able to get our Starlink set up so that we could work here in the parking lot. And of course, it seemed only appropriate to try the food at the cafe. Plus, they had an amazing huckleberry cream pie. Gluten-free bun available. Normally, we just fix our own lunch uh, pretty much every day, 99% of the time. But when you're not working in a campground and you're working next to a food place, that's kind of hard. Oh my god, the huckleberry shakes here are good. And she got pie. And a salad. I just got a burger. Huckleberry cream? Yeah, this was a huckleberry cream. For lunch. <laughs> mm. Oh, I haven't seen you make that look for a long time. That's good. You said it's made with vanilla cream. So it really makes it a lot more sweeter than the regular huckleberry. We're going to the sun. We're going to the sun road. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Lake McDonald's. Sometimes we act like a fool. No bicycles for the next nine miles. Sometimes we try to be cool.
Glacier National Park is 1,583 square miles of beautiful wilderness, almost 2,000 square miles less than Yellowstone National Park at nearly 3,500 square miles. Glacier National Park lies within Montana's Rocky Mountains, with glacier-carved peaks and valleys running to the Canadian border. During our stay, we only had time to drive through the scenic roadways, but we plan to return someday to experience a piece of the more than 700 miles of hiking trails. A vast, slowing, moving river of ice over 2,000 feet thick moved down this valley. It scored the rock and transported rubble it plucked up along the way, dumping the debris called glacial teal on its edges. When the glacier receded about 10,000 years ago, it left behind a steep sided trough and large piles of unsorted rock and dirt that dammed McDonald Creek creating the deepest lake in the park at 472 feet. Our own private deck. While the sun gets low, I got a feeling that the glow deep inside my core needs to breathe to flow. This is beautiful. Yeah. I know you need it to because we have been working hard right from the very start. Knew we get this far, but now it's time for us to stay out until it's late. We've come a long, long way, so we deserve it, mate. Call it a day and celebrate. We're going to try another uh, campground that is not part of the uh, MPS, National Park Service. Yeah, it's just right outside the line. But it, um, it's still on the recreation.gov. I can't remember what she said. It's, it's part of forest the forest. forest service, yeah. Yeah, part of the forest services. And uh, it's a first come, first serve park also. And earlier it had quite a few, but it says the road pavement ends here in 10 miles. So we're hoping it's not much further than that. Although, Minnie Vinny's already a dirty boy. I don't think he can get much dirtier. Vinny's getting a bath tomorrow. He is? We're, yes, Vinny's getting a bath <laughs> tomorrow. He's got to get a bath. He's rank. Once you get to that point where it's two miles, the rest of the way back here, I swear they never grade this road. It shakes the heck out of the RV. It's like a washboard. That's like... It, it's horrible. Certain spots, this, you can't even go five miles an hour. It shakes the heck out of you. It's pretty back here though. <laughs> here we go. Oh, it's not so bad now. This is not the... All right, there is mosquitoes everywhere. So a little lesson to be learned here. This is a uh, part of the Forest Service and there was a bunch of first come first serve sites uh, available. By the time we got here, they were all full, even out here in BFE. The nice lady is going to let us stay in a day use area. So there's two other people there. It's only $5 for day use. Um, she said it's no problem. But here's the lesson to be learned. You don't get here in time, you're gonna be late.